In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate perspective grids in Blender. Before we begin, if you are a 2D artist with little to no experience in Blender, I've got a set of free perspective grids that you can download from my Gumroad store and test out. Link is in the description. I've also got a set of perspective grids for the price of $2. It covers various camera angles, lenses, aspect ratios, and more, so that you don't have to go through the hassle of creating them yourself. Link for that is in the description as well. Now with that out of the way, for those of you that want to generate your own perspective grids, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start by creating a plane and then I'm going to subdivide it. And I'm going to change the subdivision algorithm from Catmull Clark to simple. And I'm going to make sure that I have three levels so that what we have in the viewport and what we have when we render is the same thing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array modifier and I'm going to uncheck relative offset and I'm going to check constant offset. And I'm also going to change the Z value to 0.25. Now once I've done that, I'm going to increase the count to 5. And I'm also going to mirror this. So just create a mirror modifier, uncheck X axis and check Z axis. And then I'm going to also add a wireframe modifier because we want to render the wireframe. So I'm going to set the thickness to 0 0.001, like so. And I'm going to collapse all our modifiers here. And I'm also going to disable these. So the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this plane. And I'm going to rotate it on the x-axis, like so. And then I'm just going to switch all these back on. and now we have a square grid now the next thing we want to do is render this out and in order to render this out we need to make sure that we render this on a white background so we're going to hop into the shading tab we're going to change the shader type from object to world and let's just set this to white now once that's done i'm going to switch back to object and i'm going to create a new material and I'm also going to assign the same material to the horizontal planes as well. And I'm going to change the base color to black. And I'm going to bring down the specular and bump up the roughness so that we just get black lines when we render this out. Now all we have to do is set up our camera. So I'm just going to go back to the layout tab and I'm just going to create that camera. I'm going to reset the orientation and just scale this down and rotate this on the x-axis and just drag it back like so. Now we can do a test render and see how this thing works out. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back once the render is done. So this is our render result. We generated a one point perspective grid with perfect squares. And this is great if you want precise control over your perspective drawings. So I'm going to pop back out and I'm going to change the position of our camera and initiate another render. This time we have a three point perspective grid. You can change the position of your camera however you like depending on what your project demands and very quickly end up with exactly what you require. So this is a great way to generate an infinite number of perspective grids instead of having to manually measure and plot grids in Photoshop or any other 2D application. Now, if you want to have more control over your camera in order to generate precise grids, I've created this little setup here which you can grab off of my Gumroad store. It will include an instructional video that will go over how to use the setup to adjust camera rotation, camera tilt, focal length, and even edit your perspective grids within Blender itself. So that's it for this video. If you found it informative, give the video a thumbs up. I'd also appreciate it if you considered subscribing to the channel and sharing the video with someone you know that might benefit from it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.